Bar Association San Francisco. Good morning. I think of the Bar Association as the heart of the San Francisco legal community. And so I want our members and members of the community more broadly to think of this as their home. The Bar's mission statement is basically to help others. It's to help others advance in the community if they want to become lawyers, it's to help people in the community who have legal needs, it's to help diversify the Bar Association. You know, the Bar Association does, I think it does an equal amount of good for its members, its attorney members, and for the general public. The Bar Association of San Francisco is an entity that is here for the public. Well, I think the one thing that is very unique about the San Francisco Bar Association is that it's been around for over 120 years, so it's actually grown as the city has grown. I mean, it was founded in the 1870s, which is really when San Francisco as a city became the western outpost of the United States. We've done war bond efforts during World War II. We were very involved in the civil rights movement. And even today, we do a lot of work in diversity. It's just a very well-known organization both for attorneys, but even for the city at large. So we do so many things at the Bar Association, from serving our members to serving the community, serving those who need um, legal aid, as well as those who want an opportunity to practice but don't know how to get down the pathway towards practice. The diversity director role at the Bar was implemented to focus certain efforts on getting the practice to be more inclusive, and to become more diverse so that it will eventually reflect the demographics in California. This is Alfredo Savion, who we have the story about actually directly behind me, and his, his story is one of the most, one of my favorite stories because Alfredo came from Honduras as a child, undocumented student, broken home, abusive father, the whole, the whole nine yards. But when the school to college program found him as a sophomore, he was homeless, he was living on his friend's uh, couches. Now at the time that he went into the program, Alfredo had absolutely no aspirations of going to college. He didn't think he had a shot at it at all. Uh, but then he started to work with this mentor and then he started to go on college tours and the next thing you know, two years later, he gets a free ride to Stanford. I volunteer a lot of my time with the Bar Association of San Francisco because I find it very gratifying to uh, participate in the community. I think the legal community in San Francisco is very diverse. There's a lot of us, but it's also quite a small community in, in a metropolitan city, and I think that we can affect a lot of change. One of the things that we do most effectively is help the poor and underserved in our city with both legal issues and through volunteer legal services program and also in many other ways. We do minority law student scholarships, for example, for quality candidates from diverse backgrounds. We have a wonderful school to college program that helps youngsters at Balboa High School, which is a very under-resourced public high school here in the city. We are the first stop for many people, uh, low-income people who are either on the verge of eviction or, uh, for example, a woman who needs to divorce a husband who might be battering her or for disabled people who need to apply for benefits, um, specifically homeless people who need to apply for benefits. So many people know that we're the first stop and we're the ones who know how to do the proper intake of the client's needs and then refer those cases to pro bono attorneys. You don't have to be a member of the Bar Association of San Francisco, nor do you have to be a lawyer to benefit from its services. For example, there is the Lawyer Referral Service. The LRIS is a public service department of the Bar Association that's been in operation for over 60 years. Currently, we handle about 60,000 calls annually from people who are seeking information and legal assistance. The Bar Association offers several different programs. Um, we have the Early Settlement Program. Uh, we also have mediation and we have arbitration, fee arbitration, which is specifically for clients and attorneys who have fee disputes. Well, what I do is I run the uh, Young Attorney Program, which we call the Barristers Club. It's for attorneys in their first 10 years of practice, as well as law students and legal professionals. So we're obviously part of the Bar Association, but we focus on the newer members to the Bar here in San Francisco.
Our online CLE program is offered in four different formats. They are webcast, audiocast, podcast, um, and on-demand video. Again, all of those are accessible through our online CLE catalog 24-7 and from the convenience of your home or office. For, for the younger members of the bar, the, the new admittees, it's important to get involved. One, there's mentoring opportunities here. There, there, there's people who are more than willing and, and excited to mentor uh, in whatever section and area of the law. It's a great place to, to learn more about your practice area. But most importantly, the Bar Association of San Francisco is an important place for younger attorneys to learn what opportunities there are to give back to this community. Moving into the future, I see the Bar Association continuing on a strategic path. I mean, we know what the three prongs of our mission are, including diversity of the profession so that it does reflect the community, reaching out to those who can't afford legal services to be sure that everyone can get legal services, independence to the judiciary, and benefits for our members. We have lawyers who work in 200-person firms, and we have lawyers who are sole practitioners who work out of their living rooms. Um, that's another sign of the times and the changes. And so making sure that the information and the resources we provide are valuable to both of those groups is another challenge for us. I'm really looking from a broad level at all the different things we're doing so that we not only are you know, helping our members, but we're really an integral part of the San Francisco community, and so we're looking at how we serve our members as well as how we can help our members serve the community and what we can do to make San Francisco a better place. We're lawyers because we want to do something about the world. We're not just passive participants in our society. We're, we're active, we're involved, we make things happen. And part of what is so great about the Bar Association of San Francisco is it gives you that uh, that forum to do those things. It has already established programs and services where you can join and actually improve people's lives. It's a giving organization. The members are people who have heart and I'm very proud to be a part of it. <laughs>